Hi, do you know you can add dynamic Google Maps right inside your PowerPoint presentation? Let me show you. Now take a look at this slide. This is a dynamic Google Map of Chow Mahalla Palace in Hyderabad. I can move through the Google Maps right in the normal view. If I want to go to slideshow, I can do that and I will still be able to browse through the various places in and around Chow Mahalla Palace. Now, if I want to see the review of Chow Mahalla Palace, I can go here, click on it and I will be able to go to this address and I can go to reviews and that will take me to the reviews of Chow Mahalla Palace. I can read the reviews and I can close this, close this and come back directly into presentation. Not only that, I can get this card for pretty much any place in and around the place that I'm showing and I will have the reviews. It is pretty much like you are browsing through Google Maps live. You can have a zoomed in version. You can have a zoomed out version. If you want to have a different view, you can go here and click. And this is a different view of the place that you want to show in. If you don't want this card to appear, you can of course click on it and it is gone. You can click on the view to change it. Now imagine you are a teacher and you want to talk about a certain place. You can show the Google map of that particular place and you can show them what are the important landmarks around the place you want to visit. And wherever there is a facility, you can even show street view right inside the slide. Such is the power of this particular method. And if you're a business owner and you want to tell your viewers about where your office is located or where your shop is located, you can include a dynamic Google map right inside your pitch presentation deck. We do this using a free add-in called Web Viewer. The beauty of that free add-in is you can even include live websites right inside your slides. For example, this is our website. I can browse through the website just as I would browse through my actual website and everything is clearly available right on the slide. Now imagine the potential of using something like this, whether it is in your training presentation or in your business presentation. Let us see how easy it is to add your live websites and also dynamic live Google Maps right inside PowerPoint. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. The first step is to go to Google and look for the place you want to show on your presentation. Now, in this case, I want to show Chow Mahalla Palace in Hyderabad. Then I go to this option here, the hamburger menu. You click on it and then you go to this option called share or embed map. Now in this, you do not choose send a link option. We want embed a map option. And here you see the HTML code. You copy HTML. Now that is copied to clipboard. Now come back to your slides. Then you need to insert an add-in. Let us go to insert. Go to get add-ins. Here you will find a whole bunch of add-ins that you can add to your PowerPoint. I'm going to choose something called web viewer and hit search. And that will bring me this one. You just need to say add. I already added this, so I don't need to do that again. Once you do that, you would be able to find that under my add-ins. When you click here, you would find that there is this add-in available. You click on that and that will define the area. Now I want to redefine the area all the way till here so I can see the map properly. Then I go to please enter the URL below column. You delete whatever is in the default and then press control V. Now that will paste the HTML code that you had copied earlier and then go all the way to the start. And this is a very important step. Remember, there is this option here called HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. So we don't really want that two times. So you go till the point where you have HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and then delete everything before that. So the address starts from this and it continues here. Then you just say preview and your Google Maps is inserted. It is as simple as that. Now you can move through the Google Maps. You can have the zoomed in version. You can have zoomed out version. You can do anything you want. You can change your view. Everything is possible. Now at any point of time you feel that you don't want this to be dynamic and you want just a picture of this view, then you can always go to the option here and you will be able to show as saved image. You just need to click on this and that will be just a picture. 
Now, in case you don't have internet connection where you are presenting, then this is all that you would need. Now, let us go to a new slide and I'll show you how you can insert your website. Let us go to insert new slide. Here I am showing our website which is presentationprocess.com. All you need to do is to right click on this and copy the address. Then go back to your slide. Once again, go to my add-ins, click on web viewer and then click on this, delete whatever that is already there and then press control V. And as you know, anything that is after https colon forward slash forward slash is what we want so we are going to delete everything else and then you say preview sometimes it might take a few seconds and once that is done you have your website embedded you can decide the space i'm going to close this one and let us have this wide and i can go to my slideshow and during my live presentation to the audience I can show them the website just as I would show them any normal website outside of PowerPoint. As you can see here, I don't even have to leave the PowerPoint environment to show all the information that might be required for my pitch presentation or for my training presentation. By now, you would have realized that PowerPoint is way more powerful than what you had imagined. If you want to leverage the true power of PowerPoint, you need to understand the basics of PowerPoint well. You can do that by enrolling in our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, which is the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program available online. Or if you want to just have a strong foundation of PowerPoint, then you can go to our complete PowerPoint foundation course. I will leave a link to both these products in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and check out more details. And if you're a beginner and you want to get a quick idea about PowerPoint, then you can watch this video next, which is PowerPoint for beginners, step-by-step -step tutorial to get started. It gives you all the information you would need to get started with PowerPoint. So go ahead click on the link and watch this video. And if you want to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, you can click on the link shown on the screen. I'll see you in the next video.